Poland has marked its Independence Day by opening a huge Catholic shrine first proposed more than two centuries ago. The cornerstone of the Temple of Divine Providence in Warsaw was laid in 1792, but a Russian invasion and two world wars stalled progress. The most recent work began in 2003, attracting 50 million euros, 43 million pounds, 54 million dollars, in private donations. For Poland's conservative government, the shrine is an emblem of perseverance, and nationalism. The country has a large Roman Catholic majority, and the church continues to influence its politics and social affairs. An inaugural mass was celebrated at the temple, with Poland's Prime Minister Beata Sidlo and President Andrzej Duda in attendance. Archbishop Stanislaw Gadecki cited John Paul II, the Polish former pope, in calling for a responsible use of freedom and warning against the arrogance of power. Even after two centuries, work on the churches is not yet over. Some painting is unfinished and the stained glass windows are yet to be completed. Around 7 million euros more in donations is needed to finish the job. Not everyone in Poland approves of the building, whose stillest rotunda has earned it the unflattering nickname the giant lemon juicer. In reward for their 224 year wait, visitors to the temple will be treated to superb acoustics, and lighting which can be changed to reflect different periods of the church calendar. As well as the church, the complex includes a pantheon of great poles, and a museum commemorating Pope John Paul II and Stefan Wyszynski, the leader of the Catholic Church in Poland.